Hello, Lady Midtoven here. Today we are going to talk about events over here is where all of the events are and they will tell you all of your events that are currently going on and then the upcoming events. There are events um, kind of each day of the week is a different event to collect these different caravans. Um, so make sure if you are looking for caravans that you see which ones are on which days. Um, they have a specific day. There's also events to go and gather stone, go to the sawmill, um, go to the farm, and you get special prizes for fully depleting the quarry on the map and kind of making it leave the map. There are also uh, events that you really don't have to do anything about. Um, right now, for the for next day and two hours, there is an increase in training speed, so training troops is faster. There, every month, they have an event that is specific to building up your armor. So this month, they're working on the Bravosi art armor. So when you hit these Corsairs that are um, on the map, they're little yellow um, things on the map, that you get the special materials necessary for crafting these items. All of these items are always available in the smithy, but they are not always able to be crafted because you won't have the gear. So each of the months has kind of a different um, set of armor um, to get. So those are kind of some of the set events. I wanted to talk specifically today about the PvP events. These are the player versus player events. They usually come in two parts. The first part is always to build up your troops. You get points and rewards for building up your troops each time. I go through and collect these different um, levels of soldiers. They give me different points. My points add up and then I get these different rewards and some of them are pretty sweet when you are trying to move along in the game. So I always recommend participating in that first part of building up troops. You get individual leaderboards, so you get individual prizes. Currently this would be what I get if I can maintain this position when I um, when the event is over. We also have team alliance leaderboards, so our whole allegiance will get um, this current um, whatever we finish in. They get that prize. Now, a quick thing about obtaining those prizes, they will show up in your message center as notices. You do have to go in and click on it and click the blue collect button at the bottom to make sure that you... Um, receive those prizes and as you can see I didn't do anything with this particular um, event and I still got 204th and got some prestige and some wood so it is worth it to make sure you go in and pick up those prizes. The second part of the PvP event is exactly what it says the player versus player event and this one in this one you defeat other players to win points. You basically kill other people's soldiers and they get points for it. Sorry, you kill their soldiers, you get points. They kill your soldiers, they get points. Now, this is where some of that wonderful math will come in because you want to um, make sure that you are either protecting or killing with um, more than those medic tents can survive. So um, this particular video is going to be on how to stay safe during those um, PVP events. Did soldiers, and you're gonna go and heal them. Right here, it'll show you your max wounded capacity. So currently, I can house 70,500 troops in my medic tent. Now that's very good information to know because then when I go to reinforce my SOP, 
I am only going to send 70,000 troops or less. So 70,500 is what I could hold in my medic tents. So that is all I am going to reinforce my SOP with. That means when other players come around to look for troops to kill, they look in the SOPs. I, if they hit the SOPs, my troops will go straight to my healing tents, my medic tents. If I had 80,000 troops, the 70,500 would go into the medic tents and I would lose those 500 that were over, that could not go into my medic tents to wait to be healed. So that is where you're getting into those math games. We still need to reinforce our SOPs during PvP events, but only reinforce with as much as you can um, heal. Or maybe even just a little less in case you were hunting and have a couple extras. Now, I also want to show you how to um, keep your soldiers safe. Um, say if we did not have um, a bubble. Okay, I'm trying to look for my other empire peeps. So I'm going to go here. Now here, these are all my guys that have the same banner. This person right here has a bubble on. Now that's really exciting to me because I know that since I don't have a bubble on, um, if somebody comes to hit me, they're going to kill my troops. So I want to get all of my troops out of my keep, out of my castle. But I can click on any one of my players and I can reinforce my friend there and I can send as many troops as I can send because it doesn't matter she's going to keep her bubble on and I'm going to march to reinforce her keep now that'll get all of my troops underneath a bubble and it will leave me with no troops here now remember you are always training so if you're training you grab some of these troops they're going to go here and they'll be waiting. So either bring a march back in and send them back out to be safe or bubble up. That's also another option. <clears throat> you can also hide your soldiers in a farm. So here's a farm here and I can go and gather and I don't have to only send as much that would get this food. I can send as much as my march will hold and I can send them all off together to gather. Now something to know about this is once they get there it'll tell you how much time they have to be there and then they'll come back. So when you're reinforcing somebody else's keep you know that the, your soldiers will be there for 24 hours. But when I go to gather like I'm gathering at a level two I think it was a level two um, farm, where did it go? I'm gathering at a level two farm. It's going to be done gathering in 56 minutes. So my troops will automatically be coming back to me in 56 minutes. So if I'm not online, they have the potential to get killed before I get to send them off somewhere else. So those are your options. Reinforce your SOPs with just the amount of, um, troops that will go into your medic tents, send them to another keep that is bubbled for 24 hours, or go off to gather or go to a sawmill. Um, sending them way up north or way up south or far away from you will keep them away longer because that march takes forever. Um, so just make sure that you know um, when it is that your troops will be back so you can keep them safe. Have a great weekend and happy gaming.